I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Uh, today's question comes from Mr. Wright, who asks, Dear Mr. Lovecraft, A friend of mine is trapped in outer space, where he faces the most horrendous of cosmic horrors. He is forced to watch idiotic films. Thankfully, he has a couple of mechanical companions who are able to help him maintain his senses as he endures this eldritch abomination. Here's my question. Why do you think it has been so difficult for any of your delightful stories to be adapted to film or television? What occurs in the translation from page to screen that prevents them from being done in a faithful and satisfactory manner? What are some things that an aspiring filmmaker might do to overcome these problems? To answer your question, um, the problem, of course, is that uh, I wrote my stories in such that the phenomena was always described as well, indescribable and unknowable. And for a filmmaker to translate that visually on the big screen means they have to come to terms with just what is indescribable and unknowable. It's proven rather tricky. But I'd really like to wheel back around to your initial statement about this, this friend of yours that's been, been rocketed into space and forced to watch all forms of cinematic disasters. Forgive me, but the whole scenario sounds a touch Implausible. I mean, what earthly reason would there be for, for, for such a scenario? Is, is it meant as a punishment or, or for some sort of scientific discovery? Is, is he a, a meant as a, a warning to others or some form of entertainment? I just don't... Oh. Oh, I think I understand. This friend of yours is society. And these idiotic films are these, these pre-gurgitated blockbusters that these massive corporations have, have been shooting at us non-stop, mining nostalgia and childhood for all manner of, of properties and using social media to, to churn up a false sense of interest in them, all the while selling it to us again and again and again like so much pablum. And these mechanical companions of him are the very technology and mass communication that both provide a sense of, of comfort and community, but at the same time act as the jail keepers in this prison, this prison hurtling through space, which is the planet Earth. Very, very clever, Mr. Wright. You know, someone should make that into a television program. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft.